All right, welcome to Sensei. Um, what we want to do today is I have the DeepMind 12 here, and I have the Akai MPC Live 2, and uh, I've got them hooked up via MIDI, and I have basically an input and an output going to it. And what I want to do is I want to be able to record something as a sequence in here and be able to change the patch on the DeepMind 12 um, and be able to change it whenever I like, you know, within a sequence or, you know, a song. So that's the idea. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new project. So we'll hit new. All right. And uh, we'll just do an empty project so I can kind of walk you through everything. Um, one thing I do want to mention before we kind of start and get into everything is um, right now by default usually you have this set to single selection meaning if I press this it's only allowing me to arm one track at a time. Um, there is a setting where you can have it arm multiple tracks. I'm going to show you how you can do that but I'm going to show you a way that I think is probably better to, to do. So. If you go under main menu and then you uh, pick your settings and if you go under sequencer right here you'll see this is set to single. Now I can change this uh, to multi and if I was to do that and go back to where I was Um, you'll see that I can now select multiple ones, which is great. However, um, the disadvantage of having multi selected this way is it's easy to forget that you've got it on and you might want to turn on and off different tracks. And sometimes, you know, you might record something you didn't want or override something. So for, for, I think what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll keep it on single and I'll show you another way to do the multi. Um, that'll work a little better for what we want to do. So we're going to keep that at single. We're going to go under MIDI and basically just make sure that we have our MIDI enabled. Um, so over here, uh, this is the sync and the control and the master. So right now I have the MPC one set as master control. And um, I'm basically just concerned right now with the MPC A, which is uh, the MIDI channel one. This because the live it has a, a A and a B, so two pairs. Um, but for right now, we're just going to work with the B. I don't really need to worry about having. I mean A. I don't need to worry about having B armed. All right. Um, you want to make sure your MIDI ports are enabled over here. And uh, let's kind of show you what I have here. So this has my MIDI out, MPA. All right. All right. So we're going to go back to our project. We'll hit main. And we'll go ahead and create a sequence. All right. So this is our, this will be our first sequence in here. Um, I'll just call this, uh, I guess, oops, sorry. I'll go ahead and just call this test. All right. All right. So what we want to do is uh, right now I'm under MIDI. I want to go under audio and um, I want to make sure that I, this is set to off right now. I want to go ahead and turn this to in. Um, if it's on off, this is what's going on. You're not hearing anything. So once I hit in, all right, you can hear my keyboard. So that's allowing me to play my keyboard through the Akai and be able to hear what I'm playing. Um, I don't have this armed on here just because right now I don't want to record the audio in, but if I did, I could. Um, so we're going to go back to MIDI. Now that we have that arm, we can hear it. Now this is what's important. Uh, Usually by default, it'll be on the drum channel. Uh, we want to go down to MIDI right here. 
And here's the key on this one, because I have two, two MIDI ports, I need to select the one I want. So I want a, if I don't have that selected, uh, I'm not gonna be able to record and play back the data. So make sure that's on. Um, and then uh, we're gonna go back to track and uh, we'll just go ahead and record um, a short little sequence. So um, I guess we'll go to grid mode. I hit uh, shift stop, that puts me back to the beginning. And um, oh, one thing I meant to tell you is, so right now we're on single select mode, so you can only have one thing selected at a time. Here's the little tip. If you hold down the shift key, now you can have multiple things selected. All right, so great. So we're gonna go back to where we were. Got that still selected under MIDI, okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit shift stop to reset to the beginning. I'm gonna hit uh, record, play start, and we'll just play through a short little sequence. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in. See, should have recorded that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Silly me. Um, as I was showing how to arm and disarm, I believe I disarmed my MIDI. <laughs> so we'll go under main. And uh, yeah, we need to have this one armed. <laughs> Otherwise, it will not record our data. All right, I have this set to auto and I have that armed. And this is set to track one. All right, so we got everything set. MIDI channel, MPCA right here. Track one. And that's uh, set to auto and it's armed. All right, we should be good. Shift stop, record. Kind of had a little typo. All right. All right. I guess I'm recording over myself, which is not what I wanted to do. Where's my data at? There it is. All righty. Let's go ahead and fix that. So this is good because these are showing things that can happen <laughs> while you're going along. And uh, all right, we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna cut that. All right, shift stop takes me back to the beginning and we'll try this again. Record and play. All right, let's do that again. That wasn't, all right, play start. Okay, I know what the problem is. Alrighty, I need to, I hit undo, I need to make this into four tracks. I mean, uh, four, four measures. So let's go ahead and bump that to four. That's what was going on here. Alrighty. Let's take three, action. <laughs> All right, record, play, start. So we basically have what we need. Um, I do want to just kind of fix one little thing here. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on this. Hmm. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select this one 
and I want to change the uh, ending on it. I'm going to edit it. Just kind of stretch it out a little bit. So what I want to do is I'm going to go under the uh, time code, change my resolution to 132nd, and we'll go back to where we were. And now I believe if I edit that, that gives me what I want. Alrighty, so that should do it. Very good, we'll go back to where we were. All right, so now we have a basic sequence recorded, uh, four measures, and we have a Right now I'm in bank A and uh, preset 19, okay? And uh, that one's called Primitive Joy. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go under Menu and we're gonna go under uh, List Edit. And we need to insert some events in here. So we're at uh, Measure 1, Beat 1. And that's where we want to be. So we're going to go ahead and insert. All right. We're going to change this to track automation. And then we're going to change this by default. It says volume. We double click it. And now you can scroll through. And we want to pick bank select, which is the MSB, which is the most significant bit. And hit do it. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the next one which that should have been there. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and try the next one. Track automation. So if you go up to 29 and then CC 29, then 30, 31, 32, that's the bank select LSB, the significant bit, I'm going to hit do it. Okay, now that did put that in. I'm not sure why I didn't put the other in, but we'll fix that in a second. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and insert another event in. And let's go ahead and try that once more. Okay, now it put it in. All right, and we're going to put in a third event. So insert. Track automation, and this one you want to double click because it's all the way on the bottom, and it's like three up from the bottom, or I guess four up. Program change. All right. So we have all the things in here we need, and now we need to just set our, our settings on them. So if you double click it, for this one I want zero, do it. For this one I want zero, do it. And for the pre program change, in this case, I want it to be 18, which is the preset I'm currently on. And I'm picking 18 because that'll show up as 19 on this keyboard. Um, there's a uh, one, one uh, value discrepancy, uh, which happens depending on, because usually it's set like 0 to 127, or it'll be set 1 to 128. So no biggie, just be aware of that when you're checking your presets. And if it's off by one, you can just make an adjustment. All right, so we have that in. Now here's what we wanna do. Um, I'm gonna go back to my main menu. I wanna go ahead and uh, just quickly save this project for a moment. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll just give it a temporary, we'll just call it a, I don't know, temp test. All right, now let's, let's just call it temp and we're dealing with MIDI. All right, we'll save that. All right, 
So now that we have that in there, this is what we want to do. We're going to go under, we have four bars. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go under edit and we're going to double our length. All right, we'll come back. And the reason we did that, we're at eight, as you can see, is now if we go under the main menu and edit our list, as we scroll down, it will have copied what we had as well as the other four bars. So all I need to do now is double click on this and I can change it to a different preset. So let's just pick something. We'll pick a random number. It'll probably sound bad, but <laughs> we'll pick 75 and uh, we'll just we'll just test it to see how this sounds, see if it does what we want it to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit shift stop to reset to the beginning, hit play. And what we should be hearing is one sound. And then when we get halfway through, it should switch to another. There will be a slight delay, probably about a, a second in between it switching sounds. Um, that has to do, I believe, with, with this hardware, with the uh, DeepMind 12. Um, it's not a multi-timbral instrument. Um, so it is polyphonic, 12 notes, but um, I believe that there is a little lag of maybe about a second between changing patches, um, which in most circumstances isn't a problem. You know, if you're playing live, you can switch to a different patch in between songs. Um, but in this case, obviously there's a slight delay. So just, that's what you'll hear. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, there we have it. A little random sound we switched to. Um, so let's see what we actually switched to. Um, and we'll pick a different, I think we'll pick something a little better. Um, <laughs> so if we go back to main menu, edit list, and just scroll down a little bit. That was 75. So I'm going to go back to here. I wonder if this, I want to try something here. Let's see. Okay. And I'm just going to manually switch over. Yeah. It's still switching my tracks as I pick. Um, but that's all right. We'll just pick something different here. That's a little better, I think. Um, so that one's A50, A51. So what we want to do is, again, this should stay on track one. It just changes every time I manually switch uh, programs on the keyboard. Um, so we're going to go back under Main Menu, Edit List, scroll down, and we want to go actually to 50 because remember I said it added one to everything, so we'll hit do it. All right, and let's just save that real fast. Okay, and let's go ahead and play it. Let's see what we have here. As we get to 5-1. switches back. All right, so there you have it. So we were able to successfully switch from one patch to another. Um, coincidentally, uh, we can also change banks. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's say I want to bump that sound. Um, all right. So I'll have to I'll manually, I'll just go ahead and pick a different, a completely different sound here. Um, all right, well, that'll be a simple one. So what we're going to do now is we're simply switching. Um, we're going to go to bank H19. All right, so let's see.
this editor. Okay, and you'll see nothing shows up here. That's because we're not on track one. And that's again, because every time I manually switch, I think the MIDI tells it to switch uh, tracks, which is not what we want. So just make sure you're always on the same track you wanna be on, in this case, track one. Otherwise, you're not gonna see all your MIDI events here. All right, so come down here. And uh, I'm basically matching this number 19. All right, well, in this case, it'll actually be 18 because, again, they shift by one. And then in this case, I want the least significant bit. And uh, if zero is bank A, plus one should be bank B. So you can kind of just go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then H. I believe that should be correct. Let's give it a shot. All right, so let's try it out. All right, success. So there you have it. So that's the way to basically be able to switch patches um, using the automation track and uh, um, obviously you can use that same technique to affect other things so you know we could go in and, and manually uh, adjust any of the other parameters which we won't do in this video but um, you know for example uh, let's just scroll down a little so that we're in a different spot and let's say we want to insert an event um, you know, you could put in volume. Let's just see what we have here. You could do a modulation event, you know, all the different MIDI events, basically, you could go in and, and do something. Um, depending on the device you're affecting, you might be able to change an effect or, you know, there's a lot of different things you can have fun with. But that's outside the scope of this lesson. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. Let's go back to volume. And I'm not gonna do that one, so I'll hit close. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll probably have some more videos covering hooking up other devices through MIDI um, and other ways to work with this. Uh, one thing I, I guess I will point out real quick, if we go back to the main menu, um, if we went to audio, Uh, I guess I did in effect arm it. I didn't realize I had. So it's actually probably recorded some audio in here. Maybe it didn't. Okay. But uh, I was just going to say you can go ahead and do that if you like. So, you know, you could set up your track, set it, arm it to record the audio, and then have it go through and, and do that. Um, but I'm not going to do that for right now. You, you have the general idea. All right. Sensei out.